let's talk about a true cosmic heavyweight, Betelgeuse. If you look up at Orion in the winter sky, Betelgeuse is the bright reddish star marking the hunter's right shoulder. It's a red supergiant, one of the largest stars we can see, and a beacon that's fascinated humanity for millennia. If Betelgeuse replaced our sun, it would engulf Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and maybe even Jupiter. This star is a ticking time bomb, destined to explode as a supernova. When it does, it will outshine the moon and be visible even during the day, a once-in-a-lifetime spectacle. Betelgeuse is about 650 light-years away, close enough for us to study the dramatic final stages of a massive star's life. By watching its pulsations, mass loss, and changing brightness, we learn how stars create the elements that make planets and life possible. The iron in your blood and the calcium in your bones were forged in stars like Betelgeuse. So when we look at Betelgeuse, we're looking at our own cosmic origins. But Betelgeuse isn't just sitting quietly. It's a turbulent, ever-changing world. Its brightness regularly fluctuates, but recently it started acting in ways no one expected. The star began breaking its own rules, sending ripples of excitement and confusion through the scientific community. Astronomers have been watching closely, measuring its size, temperature, and brightness with incredible precision. Something was up with our favorite red giant, and everyone wanted to know what it was. The stage was set for a new cosmic mystery. What was causing Betelgeuse's bizarre behavior? Was it about to explode, or was something else at play? The answer would turn out to be even stranger than anyone imagined. And it all started with a dramatic event called the Great Dimming. In late 2019, astronomers noticed Betelgeuse was fading, dramatically. By early 2020, it had lost two-thirds of its brightness, sparking speculation. Was this the prelude to a supernova? The leading theory was that Betelgeuse had ejected a massive cloud of gas and dust, forming a cosmic smokescreen that blocked its light. Images from telescopes, including Hubble, showed a dark patch on the star's surface, supporting the dust cloud idea. But there was another twist. Betelgeuse was spinning much faster than expected for a star its size. A red supergiant should rotate slowly, but Betelgeuse spins at about 5 kilometers per second. A real puzzle. This rapid rotation didn't fit with existing models of stellar evolution. The dimming and the fast spin seemed like two unrelated mysteries. Or were they connected? Some scientists began to suspect a deeper, more dramatic event in Betelgeuse's past. Was there a single explanation that could tie together the dimming and the unexpected spin? The search for answers was on. Theories swirled, but one idea would soon change everything. Betelgeuse's story was about to get even wilder. To explain Betelgeuse's strange behavior, scientists proposed a radical theory, stellar cannibalism. Betelgeuse, they suggested, once had a smaller companion star. Around 100,000 years ago, as Betelgeuse expanded, it swallowed its companion whole. This violent merger injected energy and momentum, spinning Betelgeuse up to its current speed. The merger also flung huge amounts of gas and dust into space. The dust cloud that caused the great dimming wasn't from a recent eruption. It was ancient debris from this cosmic collision, finally drifting into our line of sight. Betelgeuse isn't just an old star. It's a survivor of a cataclysmic event. Its rapid spin and the surrounding dust are echoes of that ancient merger. This theory ties together all the mysteries, the dimming, the dust, and the fast rotation. Betelgeuse is no longer a simple single star. It's a complex system with a violent past. The clues were there all along. We just needed the right story to connect them. Imagine two stars born together, orbiting in a cosmic dance. One grows into a supergiant, Betelgeuse. The other, smaller, orbits nearby. As Betelgeuse swells, its outer layers engulf the companion. The smaller star spirals inward losing energy and eventually merging with Betelgeuse in a fiery death spiral. This merger transfers orbital momentum, explaining Betelgeuse's rapid spin. 
The process flings material into space, creating the dust clouds we see today. The great dimming was caused by a clump of this ancient debris passing between us and Betelgeuse. The star's current state, its fast spin and turbulent surface, are scars from this cosmic collision. Instead of a simple aging giant, Betelgeuse is a post-merger survivor. Its strange behavior is a ghostly echo of its violent past. The evidence is written in the star's every move. After swallowing its companion, Betelgeuse was reborn. The merger mixed new material into the star, altering its structure and chemistry. The influx of energy caused Betelgeuse to puff up and brighten, while the shredded companion and outer layers formed orbiting clouds of dust. Some debris settled into a disk around Betelgeuse's equator. The rest formed a clumpy shell, far from the star. The great dimming was caused by one of these ancient clumps drifting into our view. Today, Betelgeuse's rapid spin and dusty surroundings are direct results of this ancient event. The star is no longer just a simple red supergiant. It's a unique post-merger object. This realization forces us to rethink everything we thought we knew about Betelgeuse. Its violent history shapes its present and its future. The story of Betelgeuse is far more complex and fascinating than we ever imagined. During the Great Dimming, many thought Betelgeuse was about to explode. But the merger theory changes everything. The dimming wasn't a sign of imminent supernova, it was ancient debris blocking our view. Betelgeuse was acting like a supernova imposter, faking the symptoms of its own demise. The merger may have even extended Betelgeuse's life by mixing in fresh fuel. Instead of accelerating its end, the event could have postponed it. Betelgeuse is now a peculiar case, massive and old, but with features of a younger, more energetic star. We mistook echoes of its past for signs of its future. The real cause was a long-ago cosmic feast, not an impending explosion. Betelgeuse's true timeline is now more mysterious than ever. The merger theory forces us to rewrite Betelgeuse's life story. The star's mass is higher than we thought, but its interior has been mixed and refueled. More mass usually means a shorter life, but more fuel can extend it. Betelgeuse may be older than it appears, its rapid spin and turbulent surface masking its true age. The old estimate for its supernova was within the next 100,000 years. Now the timeline is uncertain. Could be sooner, could be later. Betelgeuse is no longer a textbook case. We need new models that account for the physics of stellar mergers. The only certainty, Betelgeuse's fate is sealed. But the countdown just got a lot more complicated. The universe has thrown us a cosmic curveball, and Betelgeuse is at the center of it. This discovery is a game-changer for astronomy. It shows that stellar mergers may be a crucial part of how massive stars evolve and die. Betelgeuse is now our best-studied example of a post-merger giant. Scientists are searching for more evidence, hunting for debris disks and unique chemical signatures. Powerful telescopes like James Webb will help unravel the star's true history. We'll keep monitoring Betelgeuse's every move, listening to its vibrations and watching for changes. The final supernova will come, someday. Until then, Betelgeuse remains a cosmic mystery, richer and more fascinating than ever. Its story reminds us that the universe is full of surprises. So keep looking up, the next chapter could begin at any moment.